Hi everyone, welcome to Learn to Code, the video games edition. This is lesson 16, my favorite new game. It's called Drone Sweeper. I think you're going to like this one a lot. Anyways, before we start, I just want to show you a preview of what Drone Sweeper looks like so you have an understanding of what we're coding today. So, let's take a peek at a preview. So here's the game, Drone Sweeper. Um, I got this picture from the internet and uploaded it to Scratch. I also made this text in Cool Text Generator. Anyways, the point of the game is to not allow these drones to crash into you. So I'm moving my mouse point around and then I hit the space bar to zap the drone. And you try to see how many drones you can zap before they crash into you. I think my record is 27. So anyways, that's how you play the game. Ah! It's a lot of fun. I think you're going to enjoy this one and I look forward to this lesson. Okay, I'm already at the Scratch site. I clicked the Create button. I got rid of the tutorial that was here. I'm also going to get rid of the cat, so I'm going to hit the Trash Can. So goodbye to the cat. And we're going to get the um, Drone Sweeper backdrop. So the one I like, and of course you can use whatever you want, but I think this one is perfect. Where did it go here? This one, Neon Tunnel. Kind of looks like you're in outer space. So I've got Neon Tunnel. The um, uh, the sprite that we're going to use today is the ball. So I'm going to click on ball. There's the sprite, and I like the yellow one. It's a little bit too big. So I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I think what I've decided for me is 35%. There we go. And I'm going to put it in the center of the screen. So uh, I'm going to code it to go to the center of the screen. So when the green flag is clicked, I want it to go to 0, 0. It's going to be in the dead center. So go to 0, 0. I'll just make this a bit bigger so you can see it. There we go. Zero and zero. Let's just test that. Perfect. I'm also going to create points for my game. So the points are going to be called drone. So I'm going to go to the variables button right here. It's the orange one, variables. I'm going to click on make a variable right there. I'm going to call it drone. You can call it whatever you want. I, I like drone for this one. And I'm going to press OK. So there we go. And drones are zero. So, when the game begins, go to zero, 0, and set the drone points to 0. So, I'm going to ask that you now go to Scratch, uh, click the Create button, get rid of the cat, go get this backdrop, unless there's one that you like better, and then go choose something round that can go in the center. I like ball and the yellow one, it stands out really nicely and shrink it to a size that you like. Uh, of course, the bigger it is, the easier it is to crash those drones into it. So I made mine nice and small, 35%. Make yourself some points. I called mine drone. So I went to variables. I clicked make a variable. I called it drone points. And I set the drone points to zero. And I told it to go to zero, zero whenever the green flag is clicked. So. Students, if you want to get to work, go ahead. Teachers, if you'd like to pause here, uh, I'll be ready whenever you are for the next part. Okay, welcome back. So now what we want to do is set it up so that when you hit the space bar, the yellow ball goes flying out to wherever your mouse pointer is. And watch how I do that. To do that, I'm going to have um, the computer create a clone whenever you hit the space bar. So when the space key is pressed, here under the events, when the space key is pressed, create a clone of myself. So I'm just going to go down here to the uh, control button, create a clone of myself. Perfect. So when you hit the space bar, it's going to create a clone of the yellow ball, right? We're on the yellow ball. Then when you start as a clone, it's going to put this one right there. I'm just going to move this over a bit so you can see it. When I start as a clone, here, let me move that there. When I start as a clone, I want to get the pen because I like to have a trailing uh, a pen mark. So I'm going to get the pen code, put the pen down, and then I want the clone to glide to wherever my mouse pointer is. So I'm going to go to the motion button, the blue one. I'm going to get the glide, uh, glide for one second, but not to a random position. I want it to glide to a certain X and Y position. And that X and Y position is wherever your mouse pointer happens to be. So look how I do this. I, I don't think we've used this before. It's under the sensing button. So right there, sensing the X. So glide for one second to the X position of your mouse pointer. Glide for one second to the Y position of your mouse pointer. Let's just see how that looks. Ready? I'm going to hit the space bar and test it out. 
great. Although it's kind of slow. Oh, and look at that. They all kind of do that. That's interesting. Hmm. So look what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to speed it up. It's going to be 0 0.1. So it's going to go a lot faster. Watch this. There we go. Perfect. Then I want the pen to come back up really quickly. So it's going to zoom out there. And then the pen comes back up. So pen up. Come on, pen. There we go. Pen up. And here's the nice trick. I don't think we used this one before. I want to stamp the ball. So a stamp. So stamp right there. So there like that. And it'll make the stamp of the ball. So watch. Green flag. There. There we go. Okay. So far so good. I know we're not done. And then I want to delete that clone. So as soon as it goes out there, there quickly, delete the clone. So I'm going to go back to the control button and delete this clone. So let's see how this looks. Green flag. There. Okay, so we've solved that one problem, so it's not um, uh, bunching up like that. Perfect, good. Last thing for this part. I want to delete all this stuff throughout the game so it's not frozen there. I like the looks of that, but it's not gonna work for this game. So I'm gonna get another green flag, and of course you can have many green flags. When the green flag is clicked, forever erase everything so forever forever uh, under the control forever erase all so i'm going to go back to the pen and i'm going to press erase all there we go so let's see how this looks ready green flag there look at that perfect you know one problem that pen mark is too thin you barely see it i think it's set at a one so i'm just going to change one thing i'm going to set the pen size set the pen size to something a bit bigger than one i'm going to try a two let's see how that looks ready green flag and yeah you can see it now perfect so everybody when you hit the space key we want the ball to create a clone of itself and then when it starts as a clone we're going to set the pen size to two we're going to put the pen down and the ball is going to really quickly glide for 0.1 seconds to the X position and Y position of the mouse pointer. And this X and Y thing is in the sensing button right down there. See that? It's under sensing right there. And then very quickly put the pen up and stamp the ball. Then whenever the green flag is clicked forever, it's erasing everything. So, um, oh, did it erase very quickly? Maybe a bit too quickly. I'm going to make it st the stamp stay there just for a second. So I'm going to go to the uh, control and I'm going to put a weight in there and make it weight 0 0.2. So it just stays just for a moment. Let's try that again. Ready? Yeah, that's a bit better. You can see the blue line better and you can see the ball for just a moment longer. So that's perfect. So remember, you're going to have to go get the pen. So what I did was I clicked on the extension and I clicked pen and I got my pen extension. So, students, if you'd like to get it to work, creating a clone of the ball and having it fly out to wherever your mouse pointer is and then deleting everything, go ahead, get started. And if you get stuck, please, please take a look at my code. Teachers, if you'd like to pause here and when the students are all caught up, I'll be ready and waiting for the next part. All right, welcome back. Well, now for the next part, we need to create the drones that go flying towards your tennis ball there in the middle. So I'm going to go get a small sprite. They don't have drones in here, but for today, I'm just going to use something small, uh, maybe like the bow tie right there. It's tiny. And we can always change the bow tie costume later so it looks more like a drone. So don't sweat that. So when the green flag is clicked, um, when the green flag is clicked, I want the, dr want the green uh, um, bow tie to hide. So I'm going to go to the looks button and get the hide so it's going to hide and then it's going to create clones of itself and those clones are going to start drifting towards the ball in the center so then create clone of myself clone clone right there create clone of myself and i'm going to have it create maybe 10 clones so i'm going to put a repeat around that repeat 10 times but I don't want all the clones to appear right away. I want them to uh, slowly come out one at a time. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a wait in here. So it's going to create a clone of myself. Then it's going to wait. 
maybe not one second, I want it to wait a random amount of seconds so it doesn't seem so easy to figure out. So I'm going to go get the random thing, which is in the operators, the green one. And random, 1 to 10 seconds, I think that might be perfect. So when a green flag is clicked, my bow tie is going to hide. And it, then it's going to repeat 10 times, creating a clone of itself. But it's going to wait 1 to 10 seconds between each cloning. So they don't all appear all at once. So that's the first part. Now, when they do start as a clone, when I start as a clone, now look what we're going to do. When I start as a clone, I want it to go somewhere down here. I don't know where, a random spot down at the bottom. So I'm going to have it go to the bottom. So go to, um, go to X and Y like that. But instead of negative 7 and negative 27 or whatever, I'm going to have it pick a random X. So X is down here at the bottom, right? It could be negative 240 or 240. That's the X values. So all the way from over here, negative 240, all the way up to 240. So somewhere down there. So I'm going to go back to the operators. And I'm going to grab pick random and put it in the X. And when it turns white, I'm going to let go. Perfect. So go to somewhere, negative 240, all the way to 240. And then way down at the bottom. So the bottom uh, on the Y axis is 180, negative 180, the bottom. So it should go down there, and then it's going to show itself. So let's just see if this is working. So I'm going to go to the books and get show. So let's see how this works so far. Ready? Green flag. Okay, the green thing is hiding. You can see that it's waiting. And then every few seconds, it's going to show itself way down here at the bottom. See, it's showing right there. Perfect. One of them. There's another one right there and another one over there. So that's working pretty well so far. Now, we want these clones to drift towards the ball. So look what I'm going to have it do. When I started a clone, go to the bottom somewhere randomly and show itself. And then forever, start moving towards the ball. So forever, I want it to um, point towards that ball. So point towards, point towards. It's under the green motion. Point towards the ball. So it's looking at the ball, and then I want it to take two steps. So it takes a couple of steps. There we go. So let's see how that looks. Ready? Green flag. Okay, we're just waiting for it to randomly appear down here. Come on. Zero to ten seconds. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Wonderful. There's another one. Wonderful. So you'll notice they point towards the ball. They move ten steps. They point towards the ball, they move 10 steps forever and ever. Now we have to set it up so that when you zap out like that, if that green bow tie touches your tennis ball, it's going to disappear. So watch how I do that. So I'm going to go get an if statement, if, if touching. So forever, inside the forever loop. So look, it points towards the ball, it moves 10 steps. But if it's touching the tennis ball, that's under the sensing, touching. I know it says mouse pointer. I'm going to change that. If touching ball, then I want the points to change. So we're going to make the points change by one. Change drone points by one. And then I want the clone to delete. So delete clone. Delete this clone. Great. So let's see how that works. Okay, so green flag. Good. So there's a thing right there. Perfect. Notice how they're disappearing. Whenever it touches the tennis ball, it disappears. Perfect. Come on. One more. I just like playing this game. All right. We're going to, there we go. So students, now it's your turn. You're going to go get a small sprite. I chose the bow tie. It doesn't really matter. I would choose something small. We're going to change its costume later. And I'll make it a bit smaller so we can get all the uh, code on there on one screen. And then look, whenever the green flag is clicked, we want the bow tie to hide. And then it's going to repeat 10 times, creating a clone of itself. But it's going to wait a random amount of time before they do that. So I chose 1 to 10 seconds. Then when it does start a clone, go somewhere to the bottom, a random X position. So negative 240 all the way to 240. And of course, at the bottom is negative 180 on the Y axis. So down there. 
then the green flag or the green bow tie is going to show itself and forever point towards a ball, move 10 steps, and then check to see if it's touching the ball or the stamp. And if it is touching the ball or the stamp, change your points by one and delete that clone. And this is what you get. So it's working really nicely. So let's see. Come on. 10 seconds can seem like a long time when you're video recording. Come on. Oops. There we go. I had to restart the game. Sorry. There we go. So now it's working. So students, if you want to get to work on that, and if you get stuck, please look at my code. Teachers, if you'd like to pause it here, I'll be, and I'll be here waiting for the students when they're done. All right, welcome back. I hope that's working nicely for you. Hey, there's one problem in this game. So if you don't happen to catch the, or zap the bow ties or drones or whatever, and they make it all the way to your tennis ball there, nothing really happens. So you don't really even have to shoot them because they just disappear and you get points. That's not quite right. If the drone or the bow tie can make it all the way to the tennis ball, I want the game to be over. So look what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get another sprite, a different one, but it's also going to be round. So I'm going to choose a sprite and I'm going to go get um, the green ball, the button actually, this button right there. Okay, right there. I'm going to shrink it down so it's a lot smaller. I'm going to make the button 35%. Wonderful. And I'm going to put it behind the, the uh, yellow ball right there. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to code it so that when the green flag is clicked, it moves to the back layer. So I'm going to go to the back layer. So that's under the looks. Go to the back layer. Great. So green flag. Good. So now the the um, the green button is behind the yellow ball. So now what we're going to do is so that if the bow tie makes it all the way down there and touches the button, that's game over. So I'm going to go back to the bow tie now. And I'm going to get another if statement. So if, if touching button, then game over. So I'm going to put an if right in there. See, it's inside the forever loop. Okay. So forever, point to the ball, move two steps. That's the bow tie. If touching the ball, change points by one and delete the clone. But if touching the green button and under sensing, if touching button, then stop everything. Game over. Stop all. Right there. It's under the control. Stop all. So now, if I'm shooting around, but I don't happen to get the bow tie or the drone or whatever you want to call it, and it touches the button, game over. So, students, can you now go and get another round sprite? I chose the button. I chose it to go to the back layer. I'm also going to tell it to go to zero, zero as well. So go to zero, zero. Like that. Wonderful. And go to the back layer. That's the button. Then I'm going to code the bow tie so that if it's touching the button, that is the green button, then stop everything. That's game all. So students, if you want to go do that, Great teachers, if you'd like to pause it here, and when the students are all ready for the next part, I'll be here waiting. All right, so far so good, except there's one problem. The bow ties or the drones only come from the bottom. We want the drones and bow ties to come from all over the place. So look what I'm going to do. Now that we've coded the bow tie just perfectly, I'm going to put my mouse pointer here, and I'm going to right click it and duplicate it. So this first mouse, uh, the first bow tie starts at negative 240 to 240 and down at the bottom, negative 180, so somewhere down here. This second set of bow ties, I'm going to change it so that it starts at the top. So its y-axis is going to be 180, not negative 180. So this second one should start at the top. Let's just test it out. So we should have bow ties coming from the bottom and bow ties coming from the top. Come on, computer. There we go, from the top and the bottom, wonderful. So that's working really well, nice. Now we wanna get them coming from both sides as well. So I'm gonna go down to the bow tie, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate it again. So this one, it's gonna start at um, the side over here. This is negative 240. So on the X axis, it's negative 240. Perfect. 
and then on the y-axis it's going to be a random number for, so from negative 180 which is way down here at the bottom all the way to 180 which is here at the top so it's going to come from over here so this third bow tie is going to come from over here let's just test this one out I always like to test these things before I move on so we should have them come from the top the bottom and from the side yep there's a side a top and a bottom wonderful great so I'm gonna duplicate this one last time so I'm gonna right click and duplicate perfect instead of negative 240 which is way over here I'm gonna make it 240 which is way over here so now I have bow ties or drones coming from all sections of the screen wonderful look at that oops game over but you see that they're coming from the right the left the top and the bottom perfect let me just try quickly here to see if I can get this going so nice almost done this game wonderful so hey everybody if you could now duplicate the bow ties and give them different starting spots okay so if you get stuck please look at my code this is the final bow tie it's going to start at 240 over here and a random number between 180 at the top and negative 180 at the bottom this bow tie starts at negative 240 over here this one starts at the top at 180. so students if you'd like to get to work duplicating your bow ties teachers if you'd like to pause here and when the students are ready for the next part i'll be here waiting all right last thing so while you were working on your drones i've also been working and i just want to show you what i've done so hey for all of the different drones that i have i all made them wait seven seconds before they started cloning themselves and started attacking um so i made a i put a wait seven seconds in there for all of these different clones so that way i could have a title appear at the beginning and so what i did was i went to cool text generator i found a title uh, a font that i liked and i typed in drone sweeper and so that's what i used and then when i went back to scratch i uploaded uh a text right i uploaded right here text and the text i uploaded was called drone sweeper so there it is right there then i simply made it bright uh change its brightness effect um a whole bunch of times so that the title is brightening and um darkening so that was kind of cool i also uploaded a piece of music so i went to the sounds button i pressed upload and i brought in a, a song that i like it's called zero chess it's a cool song perfect for this game I think so if you know how to upload music to your game you can do that there and all I did was play this forever until done I also found uh, a different picture for the drone so instead of using the green uh, bottle or whatever it was the green um, necktie I went to the internet and I looked up transparent drone so the transparent means that you won't see the backdrop you'll just see the drone and there's a whole bunch to use you can choose whichever one you like I suggest you choose one that's kind of round like this because this one it won't always point in the right direction so I downloaded this one and then I uploaded it under costume so I went down here and I pressed upload it and I uploaded the one right there and then I filled it in a different color so it was nice and red so I used a bucket there to fill it in a nice red color and I did that for all of them so now instead of the green bottle or the green bow tie I've got actual drones coming in I also at the beginning of the game brought in this spaceship picture and so what I did was I searched around on the internet again for another drone one and this is the drone picture I got I like this one a lot and so at the beginning of the game that seven seconds where I had all the drones wait I have this appear and change color for seconds seven seconds while the title is also at the top so um, yeah so now you can add these extra elements to your game a title maybe some music change the picture from the green bow tie to some kind of a drone if you like and have a spaceship or drone at the beginning and some music so let's see one more time how it looks ready green flag and see nice title flashing i got my alien ship there and then it disappears and then i can start playing hit the space bar there we go wonderful 
Hey, I hope you enjoyed Drone Sweeper, and I look forward to seeing it on Scratch somewhere. If you do post it up there, somehow share it with me at Students Learn to Code. Anyways, I hope you had fun. I hope you have a good rest of the afternoon, and I look forward to seeing you at the next lesson. Bye.